I wasn't built like this. I wasn't born this way. Circumstances taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes situations. <laughs> You asked to see me, sir. How did you manage to sneak yourself into my hospital? I don't understand, sir. Who interviewed you? Answer me! Sir, it's, it's the metro. Please, sir. If it's about my absence from work this morning, I took permission from the matron and she asked me to look for someone to swap with and I did. It was made clear that we don't accept nurses with families at the point of entry. But we just realized that you lied about it. It's written here in a recruitment form. Sir, I took the box which signifies that I'm single because I am. Oh, really? Really? So, so what are you now? A lawyer? You're single with a child. I mean, it's still a deal. Come take a look at this. Come here. Look at this. I'm talking to you. Now, it is stated in this form here. There's a space for single, married, and others. Others, which allows applicants the opportunity to explain itself further. But if not that you are trying to play smart, you would have seen the others. That way you would have had the opportunity of explaining your predicament. Instead of coming to my hospital with this, your lackness of the latitude. Sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. As if that isn't enough. A few days after his option, you're already skipping work. Sir, I honestly didn't plan to act smart anymore. I really need this job. It has made our lives better. My son has started going to school, which he was not able to. Get out of my office. Get out of my office, you from. Sir, please. I only took my son to the hospital. I don't even mind doing double shifts for missing this morning. I'm sorry, sir. Listen to yourself. You have a son. Yet you decided to pick up a job that wouldn't allow you to stay at home. It's either you get up later or most times you don't even sleep at home. What kind of a mother are you? Listen, this job is not meant for single moms. So go back home. Your son needs you. Sir, please. Please, I'm really sorry, sir. You're sorry. I feel sorry would stop everything. I mean, if sorry could solve everything, there wouldn't be a need for the prison or, or the police. Now get out of my sight. Get out. I run nonsense. Lazy idiot. Hmm. My dear Nurse Sandra, we will miss you dearly in this hospital. You are one of the dedicated few. To make matters worse, Nurse Ejiro left last week for the U.S. And now you. I'm really sorry about that. I miss you too. I miss all of you greatly. But I need to join my husband in the U.S. He's getting impatient with me already. I know. It's just that um, I feel bad because it's impromptu. And you have to forfeit your one month's salary because of the contract. I know that. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I need to leave now. I have so many things to sort out. And I'll be leaving in two days. All right, yeah. All the best. 
Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Enjoy good evening. Sit. How dare you try to put me in trouble? I'm sorry, ma. I did not know that the MD does not employ single moms. Don't miss quotas anywhere, please. Because I can see you are trouble. That clause applies only to your level, and that is the entry level. It's quite understandable. I, am I not married? Ma, please. This job is a lifesaver for my son and I. Please, as a mother, don't allow the MD to fire me. I really need this job. So that the MD will think we both planned it together, right? No. Leave my office. Oh, please. I said leave. Now. What a day. Hello, sir. Oh, wait a Good evening. Good evening, sir. Have you said? Thank you, sir. Nurse Sandra, she resigned today. She wants to join her husband in the U.S. The nurse you all attended our wedding last year. She is dedicated. Uh, was actually. Yes, she was, sir. And I've had them prepare Nurse Nika's sack later. Oh, beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Just Good. that we will need a replacement for Sandra. Her absence will definitely be felt. Hmm. That's true. Uh... Okay, you know what? In that case, uh, let's uh, still an action on issuing that lousiness a sack letter. Nos Nika. Yes, of course. Um, until we find a replacement. I don't think that's the best thing to do right now. You know, we've lost two nurses in the same department just in the course of one week. So for that reason, let's just stay down action. All right, sir. Um, yes, uh, Mitra. Sir. Henceforth, please ensure that everyone signs a contract stating that nobody leaves job without giving at least a minimum of one month notice, else we sue. All right, sir. I believe they know what that means. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, and um, tell the accountant to make uh, Nurse Sandra's salary available. Yes, uh, let's give it to her. So I thought the new contract states that one month's salary be forfeited if anyone resigns with no prior notice. Later on, yes, I know. But let's just give it to her. Let's say it's a price for being dedicated. Okay, all right, sir. Thank you very much. It's all right, much. sir. I'll do just that. Uh, uh, yes, uh, you can oh, go okay, with this. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Such is life. Welcome, baby. Oh my God. You didn't tell me you were coming. Do I have to tell my fiance I'm coming to his house? 
You were. <laughs> How was work? Well, uh, not bad. Uh, no, I had um, a major surgery today. It's quite hectic. That's why you look so tired. Don't worry. Just go upstairs, freshen up. I already set the table for you, and I made something special for you. Really? Yes. Ah, from what I see from here, <laughs> it looks enticing. Of course it is. You're back. I'll be right back. See you. All right, honey. Now, good boy. Good boy. It's it's strange you don't want your mouth. Hmm? Let me give you another one. Uh-uh, why now? Hmm? Hmm. No, welcome. Let me give you one. Welcome then. Thank you. How has he been? He has refused to eat. My love, why now? Hmm? I don't want to know. You know, if you don't eat, you can't take your medications. And if you don't take your medications, you continue to be sick. And that makes mommy cry. You know, right? Do you want mommy to cry? Yeah, come, let me feed you. Come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how was work today, ma'am? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I almost got fired though. What? Hey, Jokwa, Jokwa. Almost got fired. I'm telling you. God will not allow that to happen. With the little money we are using to manage. Hey, Mbakwao. How my boss even forgive me, I can't explain. Because he had already said I should expect my letter. Ah, to that extent. I'm telling you. Everybody knows that man to be grouchy. Hey. The only good thing about him is his generosity. He pays on the due dates. That's all. <sighs> Aside that, he's impossible. He must be. For him to want to sack you for sleeping work after swapping your duty with another nurse. I mean, that's not even the reason. What was the reason? Because I have a child. <laughs> Imagine. And so? He said he doesn't employ nurses with family from 11. Enokwa. Hey! <laughs> hey, I thank God mm. that I didn't suck you. Hey, my God, I say a bit. Should we change skirt? Mm. Not dog. Did you just really prepare this? No. Just the fruit and water. Our wedding plan actually brought this. So we could have a taste of what we'll be serving our guests on our wedding day. Oh, Maka. You've already gotten the caterer. When we've not picked a date? Mm, we've picked several dates. And none seems to suit you. You know how erratic you can be. I don't want you to spring up on me anytime. You call me erratic? Mm. Really? Babe. I mean, that's not what I mean. I mean, you work so hard, you're always busy. So I feel in, in those times when you cannot be here. <sighs> not to be honest. Food tastes good. But don't pay Kitra yet. Why, Ebuka? Why do you always delay our wedding plan? Why? Oh my God, not again, not this time, please. Listen, I am not delaying anything. I'm only waiting for the right time. The right time? Yes. I'm 35 and you're 38. We've been dating for two good years. If you ask me, the best time is now. Ebuka, the best time is now. You know what? I'm full. I think I need to go rest now. Really? I'll be having an early start tomorrow. 
I wasn't built like this. I wasn't born this way. Circumstances taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes situations can turn an angel into a demon. I tell the theater nurse I'm working with today to see me right away. Okay, sir. One more thing, please. Prepare the theater with us. So don't let your past determine your future. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. What sort of married nonsense is this? What are the heads of incompetence is that? What happened in there? So this is exactly what you people do whenever I'm not around. Who actually didn't set up the theater? Who did? I, I, I did. I, it was. Did you see the list I said? How come nothing was prepared? Is she the one you said? No, sir. I'm, I'm only assisting Nurse Lizzie as an errand nurse. She said you told her what to do. Yes, Doctor. Nurse Lizzie is the one who picked the instrument. I'll get it from the No, let me get it. Okay. It's not... Wait. Is, isn't Nurse Lizzie the one assigned on the uh, Nurse Sandra? Yes, Doctor. Nurse Lizzie? Yes, sir. I take it to mean that you've been working in this hospital for some years now. Am I correct? Yes, sir. You are correct, sir. Sir, I have worked in National Hospital sir, for seven years. Yes, sir. And I worked in Downtown Hospital, sir, for five years. And of course, your own hospital for three good years. Yes, sir. In this business, I'm a professional. Matron. Sir. Uh, um, hold on. Nurse Lizzie has been assigned on the Nurse Sandra all this while. Now Nurse Sandra is no longer with us. So that means you've been hiding under Nurse Sandra's competence. Oh goodness. You're absolutely dumb. That's exactly what you are. No, sir. You are wrong, sir. Sir, I am not dumb. Sir, it's just that this head. Sir, this head you are seeing here is going through a lot, sir. If I tell you what this head is going through, sir, you will pity me. Sir, you will pity me. I am not dumb, sir. Sabuto, calm down. This head is going through a lot, sir. Mitra. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, go. sir. I should go? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But, sir, what about the, the surgeon? I am dressed. Let's go. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go. Yes. For the surgeon. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, sir. <sighs> Doctor. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry, sir. Metro, Metro, just hold on. How did that non-entity get into my hospital? I'm sorry, Where sir. Was I? I'm sorry, sir. Where was I? I'm sorry, sir. You're sorry! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Major, I need a replacement for Nurse Lizzie immediately. ASAP! Right, every sir. Uh, please, uh, do your final check. Uh, okay, sir. Make sure that everything is in order in the theater. Until then, please don't send for me. All right, sir. Sorry, sir. <sighs> oh, goodness. Mr. Clitus, how are you feeling today? Can you breathe in, please? Deeper. Okay. One more. Okay, good. Okay. 
It's a glitches. You'll be fine. Uh, your vitals are okay, and um, the fever is no longer there. But um, you'll be given your last dose of injection today. Hmm? Okay, thank you. Good. Doctor. Yes. Please, can your snake give me the injection? Because I usually don't feel pain when she handles it. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, Mr. Kletchers, if that's your wish, uh, we will definitely grant it uh, before you're discharged tomorrow. Thank you. Fine. Um, last lady. Yeah. Let's go back to other patients. Uh, Nurse Mika, over to you. My boss is beginning to come around. I would have sworn he hated me. <laughs> yes, that's how he used to be <laughs> with you. You know this feeling where he seems like anytime he sees me, there's this thing that puts him off. <laughs> that's what he was like. You don't mean this. Thank God, do. Hey! You know how long it took you to get this good paying job? <laughs> My daughter, hold it very tight. She share you came. I'll be backing you up with my prayer, and I know God will intervene. Mm -hmm. Mama, I'm, I'm doing my best, though. And I'm trying really hard to learn everything fast, so I don't mess up around him. Because I noticed he appreciates it. There is this nurse that left, mm. and what's her name? Sandra, no, Sandra. He still sings her praises to us. My daughter, you are already intelligent. If I and your father had money, we would have trained you and you would have been better than your doctor. Mama. Mm-hmm. But I've told you I'm grateful for what you people did for me, you and daddy. Mm -hmm. Huh? I mean, who could have even believed that I went to nursing school? It would have been worse, but here we are. I'm grateful. I know. But just that the money wasn't there, we would have done better. It's fine. It is okay. Thank God for everything. You said things will get better, right? Yes. Okay, let's hold on to that. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. Can you see exactly what I've been saying? We need to do more. Okay? Yes, ma'am. And uh, by the way, how far with the recruitment? I mean, the nurse. Sir, I have interviewed many. None is competent enough. Unless we employ and start training them from scratch. It's not easy to get a competent nurse now with the way they leave the country. Hmm. I don't know what they learn from school these days. I noticed myself, yes, uh, I noticed that um, the likes of Nurse Sandra and Neka are rare to find these days. Sir, so you also noticed Nurse Neka is real fire. She will be as good as Sandra soon. Well, Nurse uh, Neka is intelligent. But I doubt if she will be able to take care of... Uh, never mind. Uh, just work on this. All right, Doctor. Uh, make sure that uh, we dot our I's and cross our T's well. No errors, please. All right, sir. And um, take your time. Yeah. Take your time to get the good news. All right. Uh, yes, um, Matron, one more thing. Uh, please uh, send me the list of surgeries scheduled for next week. Okay, sir. All right. Sir. That'll be all for now. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's the list of surgeries scheduled for next week. You're a night shift, right? Yes, sir. So tell me, 
How about yourself? He's doing great. Doing great. So tell me, what is he doing right now? I, I don't know. What if he needs you right now? He's in good hands. I have someone who is taking... Someone else cannot be and can never be like you, his mother. I mean, what is wrong with you women? Do you, you go about getting pregnant for the fun of it? I mean, if you're ready to bring a child to the world, you should be ready to take care of him or her. Do you have an idea what the boy might be going to right now? What if he's been molested, harassed, or taken advantage of? Answer me. Oh, I bet you never thought about it. Get out of my office. Out! Masineka. Are you okay? I'm fine. No. Well, you don't look fine. Are you sure you're okay? My sister, let me tell you something. This world is not our own. I am just a passing by. Yes, this world is not our own. You see, this hospital, that is why I don't stress myself. I do the ones I can and leave the rest for God. Do you understand? Let me tell you, don't worry. I said, don't worry. Don't worry. Hmm? Do the ones you can and leave the rest for God. Oh, yes. You know, God? Ah, to lebu, ah, to lebu, ah, to lebu, ge kam no nyere. That is God telling you. No, Seneca, ah, to lebu, ah, to lebu, ge kam no nyere. Eh, le la nya, buru buru no just my na. Hey, no yem buchi de kegi o, mmm, gabagbe, mmm, ge. Let me go. Mm -hmm. Let me go back to work, yeah? Sorry. Oh. Did you do the laundry? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, did you also lay my husband's bed? Everything is done. Oh, that must be my husband. Please get it. Okay, ma'am. Welcome, baby. Thank you. Oh. I brought her. Welcome, my wife. What's going on here? Can you imagine? Your other house elf insulted me and called me names. You mean Mommy Francisca called you names? Yes, all sorts. Old cargo, you think my boss will marry you, ugly bitch, desperate. Uh, I'm okay, I'm okay. Biko, Biko, Biko. Biko. I mean, what is the meaning of this? I mean, I know Mommy Francisca would never do such. What is wrong with you? I mean, she's been with me for over 10 years, and I know her so well. I mean, you're only saying all of this because she has refused to bow to your whims. Ah, Maka, what is the matter with you? What has come over you? You've practically fired 
every member of my domestic staff. Why? Because they're all women. Babe, why not try Caroline? I mean, Mommy Caroline. She actually came highly recommended. And she's the same age as Madame Francisca. I don't even know why you like mothers as your house help. Now listen, see, the women in question are old enough to be our mothers. I mean, so I don't understand why the out boss. Why? I mean, how would you have handled it if they were all of your age? How? If they were young women just like you, how would you have handled it? You know what? I'm getting Mommy Francis get back. Are you serious? Just wait and see. You're definitely not doing that. Oh, really? Wait and see. I've had enough of you. Me too. You're so demeaning. You don't respect me. And you allow your house elves to insult me. Okay, your answer is coming in a bit. Just hold on. <sighs> Mother? Just uh, hand over the photograph, please. Oh my God. I'm about to get out of my house now! Get out of my house this minute! Are you asking me to leave your house? Out of my house this minute! I'm done with your egoistic self! Oh. Caroline, let Thank go. God. What nonsense will that country? House. Um, is Dr. Kola back from break? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, put a call through to the lab. I will just put that. Come on, come on, come on. Please, sir. Nasaneka. Sir. How about yourself? Sir? Don't you have a son again? Uh, yeah, my son, he's doing great. Okay. I'll, I'll take good care of him, okay? You're all he's got. All right? Okay. She has had surgery in another hospital, but the pains returned. Oh. So she came and Dr. Ibuka operated on her. Mm -hmm. Do you know for two years now, that pain has disappeared? You don't mean. I'm telling you. Yeah. So yesterday evening now, she came to the hospital and she gave Dr. Ibuka a check. I don't know mm -hmm. how much she gave him. Do you know that Dr. Ibuka shared every cobra amongst us? Hey, Dr. Ibuka. May I got 30,000? You don't mean it. Hmm. 30,000 naira. At least that money can help us solve something. A lot of things now. Uh, a lot. Like the man is very, very nice. Mama, do you know another thing? Dr. Ibuka, he might be a monster. He can be very rude and talk to people and people are scared of him. But that man, do you know that every surgery in that hospital, Dr. Ibuka does it himself. Ibuka. Hmm. Nobody helps him or he will do all the operation himself. The man can be a monster, but honestly, he's the hard worker. Oh, he's a very good man, honestly. May God bless the woman and bless your Ebuka. Amen. Mm. Oh. Oh. Dr. Ebuka, my Dr. Ebuka. My Ebuka. Amen. Ha. God really needs to bless that money. He's too nice mm. to make sure he shared everything. I don't, like I said, I don't know how much, but he shared everything amongst everybody. Mm. Mm. Who will do that? They say, Ebu, 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 Ebu. Ebuka here, Ebuka there. Oh. Mama, but the man is nice ah, now. If you other people, they will just pocket the I'm money. not disputing it now. He's a nice man. Oh, yeah. Very nice. He's a nice man. Oh, very, very nice. Mm.
Where are you headed? Um, I'm going home, sir. Come in, let me help you. The weather doesn't seem too good. Sir? Get in. Um, Get in. Okay. Yeah, this way. Let's sit down, please. Show me the way. Thank you. It's this way. No, what? Where? Where? This way. This way. Oh, okay. <sighs> So, tell me, how do you cope with your son? He stays with my mom. Oh, really? Wow. I never knew you had it all figured out. You know, I... I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you the other day. You know. It was because I've seen children get treated horribly. You know, not out of their own will. Not parental negligence. So I'm sorry. It's fine. Wow. Whenever I'm not around, my mom takes care of him. Brian means the world to me and I can't trade him for anything. That's good. Once again, I'm sorry. So you mean you come to work from this place every time? Yes. So which way? Left or right? Mm, right. right. Such a busy environment. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to know that you care. You need to meet Brian. He's the best kid ever. Mm. And I love him with everything in me. Mm. I'm happy to hear that. And I'm glad to know that he is your top priority. Mm. So now tell me, uh, where do you see yourself in the next five years in your profession? Uh, I would love to take professional courses in nursing okay. and especially in theatre. Wow. <laughs> so that you can run away. Mm. That's what you all do. <laughs> Not really. I really love to give Brian the best. Mm. Yeah. Everything I never had, I want to give my son. Mm. That's good. Just there. Okay, there. Yeah. Wow. 
Thank you so much, sir. Take care of yourself. All right, bye. It's only well to. I will. Bye. bye. Brian, please eat fast. You know, I have to go to work, please. And you need to finish this food. Okay. No, you can't be full. You have to eat. You're eating very little. So you don't fall sick again. Eat fast, eat. My daughter. Eh? Leave him and go. Let me take over. No. The next thing that he will tell you he's full, he's okay, and you will leave him. You pamper him too yeah. much. Don't like it. But are you not going late? Mm -mm. Normally, we resume by 8 a.m. in the morning. Even though Dr. Ibuka comes by 7 a.m. Mm, not to worry. I know he doesn't like late coming, but I'll be fine. That's even true, Mama. Do you know, the other day, one of the nurses mentioned that Dr. Ibuka lives very close to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And that he said he'll be getting a staff quarter for those who would love to like stay close to the hospital too and he would take it monthly from our salary mm -hmm. yeah and i'm i'm sure a lot of people would like that idea it's a very good one <laughs> Neg, Ma? have you noticed that the only thing we hear in this house from beginning to the end is about dr Ibuka? tell me are you living inside this office or you're working inside this office Mama, I don't understand. Neither do I. Then I mean, don't that do I understand? Stand up and go. Let me take over. Mama, wait. Give now. me. Wait, let me finish. I say, give me. Oh, you have to. Have Mama, you have to. Ah, ah, get up and go. You are going late. Stand up and go. Let me take over. When well, you go late now, they sack you. Now, how do you want us to cope? Before you know it, make sure you finish that food. You understand? Go, Gawa. You will finish it. Bye bye. All right, bye. Hmm? See you later. Hmm? Bye. I'm ever bright. Now. Now. Oh, mommy. Okay. I know you eat, eh? Grandma want to feed you, okay? Good boy. Good boy. Mm -hmm. That's my boy. Good morning, sir. Good morning. The matron asked me to give this to you. Oh, let me have it. <clears throat> I can't seem to make any sense out of any of this. <laughs> Now, take a look. This is okay where it is. But this, this should be here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from here down, you can take this out. Okay. You have this thing on your uniform. Um, this is not professional enough. I'm very sorry, sir. I. Where did you walk away from me? My friends. Hello, darling. Gosh, <laughs> you work so hard. How are you? You you can get back to me. Mm-hmm. 
instinto. Eu perdi, deixa eu ver. Deixa eu ver. Você não fez. Do you like me like that? Mostra aqui. Hum. So what, what is it that I have to wait till I get her to see? You see what I'll be wearing waiting for you. Really? Uh -huh. What would that mean? Wait, nothing. Till you get home. <laughs> okay, so um, what's the key? Reconciliation, of course. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you too. Hey, Toyosi. Yes. I'm in Ibuka's house. Yes, again. He used condoms. I know. But what do you want me to do? Babes, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> Hello, babe. Are you okay? Be careful with drink. Do you like doing pasta? Chef us up. No, no, no. I ordered pizza. Really? <sighs> My daughter, I have noticed your mood these few days. Oh, Gene. What is it, my daughter? Mm, it's nothing. I'm fine. Mm, bam, bam, bam. Don't tell me that now. Eh? Don't tell me you are fine when I can see you are not fine. What is wrong with you? I am your mother. Please share it with me. What is it? It's just, it's just the moral problems I'm experiencing. Just, I've just been thinking of how to take care of Brian alone. Uh -uh. Is that what you're talking about? God will surely help us out. Okay? As Brian is growing, it is the same way your income will continue to rise. Okay? Please, my daughter. Don't allow this to disturb you. Okay? I'm trying to go to sleep now. Okay. Ah, I'll take it easy. Everything will be okay. Huh? There is no crying. Um, take it easy. Thank you. <laughs>
baby. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I'm so happy. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Oh, she almost ruined my glasses. <laughs> oh. Um. Well, yes, I know you it can be crazy sometimes, but you seem to understand me so well. Mm -hmm. And I have a strong conviction that you and I are compatible. And we're good to go. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear this. So, yes, as an event planner, I'm going to get a home that befits our status next and getting a decorator. And guess what? Our color for that day is pepper them red and God must punish <coughs> them for green. Where are you coughing now? Also, the wedding I attended the other day, we need to see their cake decorator. Anyways, I got the number. And babe, our caterer. Where are you going to use the best caterer? Trust me on that. Mama, I'm not even... <sighs> You know what? Come on, come on, darling. Get us a proper event plan. Hmm? And this, uh, I'm not out to pepper anybody. And that, uh, God must punish devil brain. Yes, especially that one. Oh my God. Uh, you know what? Just get in touch with the cage, right? get the bills and just let me know about it and I'll transfer the money to you. Okay. I'm an event planner. I'm not calm. <laughs> yes, I know. Hmm? Remember you introduced yourself as one when we met and you also gave me a complimentary card, remember? <laughs> Uh, but you and I know that you have never planned an event. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. You and I know that you cannot lift a finger to do anything properly. Really? That's what <laughs> you're saying. Like that. That. <laughs> So please, let's just, let's just, just do what I've said, okay? <laughs> Let me call my friend. Oh! Wow. So you see. Yes, I'm getting married. See you later. Yeah, your friend is the latest friend. Amen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you can see that again. Yes. Finally. Yes, it's a Macau. <laughs> you know, I just have this strong feeling that um, uh, she seems to understand me better. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you. All right, all right, all right. Yes, yes, I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> uh, very funny, dude.
خیلی مادر I'm getting married. How do you like to come? Yes, son. Yes. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. But I, I hope you got your last month's allowance. Make sure you take your medications. How are you? I hope you're okay. Yeah, this one you're calling me. Oh, the one I'm, I hope I'm safe. Hey, I think I'm just coming back now. I took my grandson to school. I'm just coming back. Yes, I hope all is well. This one you're calling me. Oh, Neka. Neka, Neka has gone to work now. Would you go on? I hope everything is okay. America. Hey, hey! It's over there, you go. Chineke me! Mm. Abu monye noa, onye kambo noa. Abu monye chineke ne chere me chichoma o. Hey, ume mama. Thank you for this news you've just given me. As soon as Neka comes back, I will pass the message to her. Eh, Enano? Thank you so much, eh? Nguan, we will talk later, eh? Nguan, you see Ken? Oh, there, over there, you go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Eh? Hey, you can warm over there, you Hey, chineke kene dereko. Mhm. Hmm. Yes, Amaka, it's fine. Uh, you'll get the six million today. Uh, and please, Amaka, make sure you use a good events planner. I'm sure you can do that, right? Okay, good. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, okay? I've got work to do. All right, later. Nesneka, how are you? Uh -huh. Do you know that the MD is finally getting married? Yes! It might be a rumor, but it's a good news. Once he marries, all this shouting, shouting, shouting will end. What do you think? I said it. Something is going on between these two. What is my business? My business is to go to the Red Room, eat rice, drink. Hey! Jesus! Nemo. So how do you see the guy? 
I think he's nice. Neka. Ma. Ah. Hey. I was asking you a question. I said, how is Ezekiel? How do you see him? My friend's son in law strength. That is Yuki. I think he looks good. That was the same thing you said yesterday. That means we are making progress, okay? That reminds me. Have you sent your pictures to me? But I'm sure I'm sure you will like you. No, I haven't. Mama, I would definitely do that. It's just that there's no time to go to the cyber cafe. There will be time in Jesus' name. I don't like the way you are just you are just dragging your leg. Eh? Machine here can now. You are just dragging your leg. Eh? My dear, listen to me. I am not asking you to jump into anything. By the time the two of you will start talking, you will get to know yourselves better. I am not asking you to rush. Okay? Because this tender heart of yours cannot afford to any heartbreak again. Remember what happened when you lost Brian's dad? I almost lost you too. So become one. Just take it easy, okay? Okay. And let's go in. Because I don't like the way you are sitting down. Mama, I'm just I'm relaxing. Let's go in. I'm just relaxing. Let's go in. Mm. Oh, Asam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It was really nice talking to you. All right, take care. Bye. I find it just so difficult to let this get out of my mind. Come on. Oh. Oh. Yes, uh, I need you to come over, please. Yes. Hmm. Was that Ezekiel? Yes, it was him. 
This one he's calling like this. He seems to be very serious. Let's come go quagi. Where you quiet away? Take it easy. Amen. Remember, you have a fragile heart. Hmm? So think about that. Well, he's actually a very cool guy. But it's just this thing with him trying to rush everything. It's, everything is going too fast. He really wants to get me a car and and he wants me to take a leave and come visit him. Eh? So, I hope you have not been collecting money from him. Well, he actually asked and I refused. Aside the things he sent you, I've not collected anything from him. Hmm. Okay, that's a good one. But, um, do you love him? <laughs> well, I don't even know how to answer that question. I mean, it's difficult to answer because it's just phone conversations we've been having. I've not seen him in person. Yeah, like I said on phone, he's, he actually sounds okay. But, you know, phone conversation is not enough to judge. Yeah, you're right. So, let's just watch out and see how it unfolds. Hmm? Yeah. Mm. My grandson, I've already slept, so. Mm. Oh, no. Good night. 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 Sometimes situations taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes situations can turn an angel into a demon. And sometimes can turn a beast into an angel. It all depends, it all depends. So don't let your past determine your future. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. Don't let your past determine your future. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. Live your life the best way you can So freely as you can And leave the past behind Don't let anger take over you Live your life the best way you oh, can yeah, yeah, yeah. So freely as you can Emeka You've been avoiding me I don't know what you're talking about you have been avoiding me. But listen, whatever it is I might have done wrong, please, I am sorry. Okay? That sounds like a good shot. I have to call my mom and my son. I have to run. No, 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 you, 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 you can't. You can't. You can't. I have to run. You can't. 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 You
Okay, fine. What, what did she say? She said you're fine and that the police are there with you. Oh, thank you, goodness, thank you. Oh. Oh. Goodness. I said everything was going to be fine. Now all you need now is good food and sleep. Okay? Huh? I hope you enjoyed the meal. Of course I did. Really? Yes. Um, I never knew that you, you, sir, can actually cook. Why? I'm meant to cook. Of course. <laughs> well, I actually uh, never knew that um, you'd insist on taking water. Well, water is life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, you see, I must be truthful to you. You're a good company. You know, it's um, obvious that you can only know a person outside the office. You're nice to talk to, too. Really? <laughs> I mean, outside the office, of course. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, sometimes it seems like you jungle two personalities. Oh, well, I hear that every time. So many times. Is there a reason? Uh, okay, um, is the second one that bad? It's very deadly. <laughs> really? Yeah, like everyone is scared of you. Everyone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a big one. Uh, okay, how about you? When I say everyone, that includes me too. But then, this person here right now is... Is so sweet. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um... Hi, Ezekiel. Um, I'm good. No, I'm not at home yet. How are you doing? How is your day going? That uh, was your your boyfriend. Sort of. Sort of. What do you mean by sort of? It's either he is your boyfriend or he's not. Um. Someone introduced us to each other, and since then we've been talking on the phone, but we've never met. Oh. I see. I'm guessing he is in the States or somewhere abroad. Okay. I guess it's time for us to, to go to bed. We've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. I'll just read to your room. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh. Shall we? I'm 
I'm sorry. I can't. I understand. Um, your room is the second room by your right. Good night. So run the test when they've all gone as usual, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. I've checked and Miss Lizzie will be doing a night duty. That one is done. What does she know? Wow! This will fetch us some good money! <laughs> My <Ego>. name <laughs> Thank God I met you in this hospital. This place is very expensive outside. There are a lot of wrong things together in this hospital. We're gonna make good money. I'm doing good. You see? The MD does not joke with new equipment. Yes. <laughs> that is how we run things here. Corner the patient, charge half the money, and still run the test. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've been doing this for over a year, even before you got here. There is money in this, and I'm glad you cooperate. Yeah. Why won't I cooperate? <laughs> Maybe to get sense. <laughs> oh, how could you? How could you? Dr. Ibuka can be anything, but at least he pays everyone well. Do you know how much he spent on these equipments last month, do you? He hasn't even made any money from it. And you go behind him to run private tests with his patients and his equipment. That's despicable. This is the file for the samples you were asked to run tests on. No, 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 Snake, please. What? Please, I beg you, please. I have a sick mom at home. And that's what I'm doing this just to earn extra cash, please. No, sir. I'm finished. What do we do now? I don't know. Then. This goes to the doctor and this is the records. Miss Mecca, please. <laughs> Sabi girl. I wasn't born this way. Circumstances. Taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes it 
situation Can't turn an angel into a demon And sometimes situations Can turn a beast into an angel It all depends, it all depends So don't let your past Determine your future Never let anger get the best of you, the best of you. Uh. Never let bitterness destroy your heart, destroy your heart. Mm. So tell me. gross. Those lab scientists are very wicked. Eh? Eh? Would they like other people to do the same thing to them too? Well, I'm watching them and I pray they really, really stop. Because if I see they are still doing it, I will definitely report to the matron. Hi, thank God. Thank God that I trained you very well. Asamo. Hi, Mama Mia. You're always making me proud. Have you finally considered this girl? Yes, now. Eh? The reason why I'm asking because for some days now, I have been noticing that uh, you are becoming more serious with him. Of course not. It's not like I have a lot of people that are interested in me. Mm. More so. I have his son. And the fact is that people here, the men here, they don't really like our type. But Ezekiel is exposed to the Western life. So me having a son is not really a big deal for him. So yeah. Uh -huh. That's a very good decision. Oh, Mamu, you know that now my mind is becoming, eh? My mind is so sweet. Thank you, my daughter. Eh? Hey, <laughs> let's not forget. I was at, um, Brian's school today. <sighs> you sent for me, sir. You were expected to give a patient anti malaria injection. Instead, you give the person drug went for hypertensive patient. What? Think what? I'm still talking. Do you know the damage you've caused? I mean, what if the patient didn't pull through? Sir. Keep quiet. I am still talking. What if the patient didn't pull through? We would have lost a life. And this hospital, my hospital would have ensued. Sir, I didn't do that. I knew exactly what I injected him with. You're now insulting my intelligence? Sir, no. I'm not. Keep quiet! Turn down that train, you call him out. Listen, if you're tired of this job, why don't you just be quit? There are thousands of people out there who are ready to take up your position. I'm sorry, sir. But I can't take responsibility for something I obviously did not do. I know what. Uh, 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 young lady, now listen. Listen to me. And listen to me. This should never repeat itself. I come to think of it, I'm only doing this because of humanity. 
Bearing in mind that you have a son. Should there be a report of your incompetence again? It's either you'll leave my hospital or you'll be behind bars. Have I made myself clear? Understood! Get out. Just go. Out. Nonsense. I'm so sorry, sir. Mrs. Kalu, I am highly disappointed in you. Under your what? Under your what? Please leave. You can go. You can go, please. No, 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 no. Shouldn't have spoken to her that way. I shouldn't have. I mean, I hear that. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much. Come to think of it, I mean, people's lives are in danger. It was endangering people's lives. You wouldn't expect me to just sit down, just not say anything. <laughs> Hey darling, Senator, calm down. Even if I'm getting married, I'm still yours forever. <laughs> I can't be for one man. Faithfulness. Please, 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 please. Don't talk about faithfulness here. <laughs> How will I fund my lifestyle hmm? if I'm faithful to just one man? Please do. I'm not for one man at all. The ego is very important. <laughs> I can't wait to see you. Love you. Kisses. Bye. Huh. Abaka! Abaka! You! Shoot your daddy! Babe, calm down. Don't it's blame! Not, it's not what you think. I'm telling you. What have you ever asked for that I denied you? Babe, babe, listen. Stop! Babe. Don't blame me! Babe, listen to me. Just calm down. You know what? It's over. I can explain. It's over. I can explain. Babe. Babe. Babe, please listen to me. I can explain. Get out of my Babe, please. Don't. Don't. Babe. Don't touch me. Don't do that. Stay. Get out of my face. Please, babe. Please, babe. I have fucking laid a finger on the wall. Don't let me have a fight with you. I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you. Get out of my face. I'll explain to you. It's all over between you and I. What is the problem? What is it? This is your mood swing. I don't understand. I don't like the way you've been behaving these days. What is the problem? Please talk to me. Mama, what is I it? am tired. I'm tired of everything. Nothing seems to be working. I think I will just get married to Ezekiel so I can leave this country. Okay. I understand how you feel, my daughter. I'm beginning to think that everything that is happening now is for a reason. Probably it's for you to see that Ezekiel is actually the right man for you. 
if you are satisfied in your place of work, I don't think you'll take up traveling. I hope you know that. Anyway, please take it easy. Take it easy. I've always told you, all that the charm now, all will be well. Don't worry, Eunice. I can't continue like this. <laughs> what nonsense is this? <sighs> Sir. Take a look at those files. Oh, no. No, sir. I, I didn't do this. I submitted these files with the result in them, the exact way the lab scientists gave them to me. It's obviously from them. Now listen, those results were switched, obviously. Now, I have worked with the head of units for six good years, and nothing like this has ever happened before. You know why? Because I trust her. Now, with the grievous mistake you committed recently, I can't say that of you. Now, the big question now is, why are you hell-bent on bringing down my hospital? Why? All these accusations, just because of your personal feelings. Look here, woman. Watch your tongue. I won't allow you insult me in my office. You know what? I can't go over this again. Oh, it has now gotten to the point where you now decide on what job to do? No. You, you're very, very rude. You bully people. You're not approachable. You're rigid. What? How do you talk about me in such manner? You think you know me? Do you? Exactly. This moment you're cold. And the next, you're blowing really hot. You think you're the only person who has a problem? Everybody in this hospital does. But yes, they don't make us feel uncomfortable because of their problems. But you, that's not fair. I can't, I can't continue with this erratic behavior of yours. I quit. You, you, you what? Like this. I wasn't born this way. Circumstances taught me how to live, live my life. Sometimes situations can turn an angel into a demon. And sometimes... Good day, Doctor. Good day. Uh, Mrs. Khan. Sir. I'm not uh, in the right frame of mind to attend to any patient right now. Transfer the severe cases to Dr. Kola. Okay, sir. And uh, we should all the others. All right, sir. Uh, but, Doctor, yes. you need to say this. Your past determine your future. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. Live your life the best way you can, so freely as you can, and leave the past behind. Don't let anger take over you. Live your life the best way you oh, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So write the missing letter in the box. Oh, write yeah. the spelling word oh, correctly yeah. on the line. So this one is. <laughs> What in the world are you doing here? Good evening. Ah, good evening. You're welcome. You must be Mecca's ex-boss. 
um, Dr. Erica Mayan talks about you all the time. Wow, Brian, I've heard a lot of wonderful things about you too, like how amazing and smart you are. Thank you. You're welcome, Brian. Nah, you're welcome, eh? You're welcome. Oh, sit down and make yourself comfortable, okay? okay? Nah, you are entertaining your guests. Bring me inside. I ask you again, what in the world are you doing here? Aneka, you were set up. The matron eventually found out the two lab scientists. She found out all the atrocities they committed. They actually confessed at the police station so that I don't make further charges. Fine. Apology accepted. You can leave. Nika, come on. You know, it's a, it's a health facility. We couldn't afford to have taken chances. I should have trusted you. But I have used trust in women. Please come back to me. I am sorry. If sorry could solve situations, there won't be need for the police and the prison. Yes. That sounds more like you give me my comments. Onega, you've gradually, you're gradually becoming my essence. I'm falling for you. Look, those days without you at work has been hell for me. Please, come back to me. If I am your essence, then what about your fiancé? She's gone. Gone for good. Um, I need to realize that she was just in for the money. All she wanted was money. My money. Well, I want a companionship. Which wasn't good, right? I know. But I guess we weren't meant for each other. We should be talking about Ezekiel. How about it? Ezekiel and I were never meant to be. So I quit. But what's this thing with you not trusting women? Nika. It's a long story. I wasn't built like this. I wasn't born this way. I have PTSD. Circumstances taught me you how need to professional live, live my life. Sometimes situations can turn a major into a hurting demon. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks for booking the session. I'm glad you love it. That was your last section. Can you at least talk to me now? Make up. Oh. I was raised by a single mother. A mother 
Who never cared about me? All she did was just to blame me. She blamed me for everything. She blamed me for all of her misfortunes. It all started with, with her conceiving. She thought if she did that, the man she loved would marry her. But unfortunately, that never happened. She blamed me for making our lose out of life. We were poor. But I remember how parents of poor children did cater for their own children. <sighs> Nigga. I hooked. I hooked as little as I was. <sighs> Oh. Oh. I hugged double portion, not because she asked me to, but because I chose to believe in that if I did so. She would, she would love me. But what did I get? The same treatment. <sighs> my, my mother blamed me for everything. A woman. The causes of my mother's. Shortly after, she dumped me. At her mother's yeah, what? in the ghetto. <laughs> and no, no, not quite long. A suitor came for her. And my mother, my mother denied, she denied me, calling me a nephew. The woman also said my mother denied me. She denied me, she called me a nephew. <sighs> yes, she sent money, but that was the word I needed. I didn't have love. 
I needed her attention. No, why long? I started going to a church in the area just because I wanted to drift away from her. It was there that I eventually made the place my home. And this time came when the pastor of the church was to recommend some workers to a full scholarship. to go study to medical courses. I, I, I was lucky to have been a worker. I became a medical doctor. <laughs> Nika, unfortunately, as fate would have it. My mother was unable to bear a child for the man the man she abandoned me for. The man she denied me for calling me nephew. And the man had to Marry another woman. And yeah, that was how they got separated. I'm so sorry. sorry. That, that was that was how I became grumpy, grumpy and every woman. I couldn't find myself to love any woman. The emotional connect was never there. I couldn't connect emotionally with any woman. <laughs> Oh God. And I, I, I kept up with that. <laughs> that was why I tried pushing you away. I, I, I had to go on with the wedding arrangement. In preparation because I just want them to get you out of my head. Really? <sighs> Why is she now? I mean, your mom. Delta. She's in Delta. I got her a house. And I make sure I send her a monthly allowance.
私への購入<笑> Not when she has every possession. How do you feel talking about this now? I, I feel so, I feel so good, honestly. It feels good. Wait a minute. Did you call me, my love? If only you know how long I've had that in my head. <coughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. So. Oh no. So it, it happened to you too. I thought I was the only one caught up in this love trap. <laughs> Your mood swing was because of him, Akwaya. Yes, because you talk about Dr. Ebuka endlessly here. Dr. Ebuka Mereka. Dr. Ebuka did this surgery. Dr. Ebuka gave this person money. Dr. Ebuka this, Dr. Ebuka. Hey, Benine, Dr. Ebuka, Ebuka, Ebuka. You see it? Eh? So, oh, love, Nato. Ihe love, Nemi. When I was telling you, in a fishy, baka, baka, baka. That is how you were doing your hair when I was telling you. Ehona niya now. Let me tell you what an elder will see sitting down. Even if he climbed the highest Iroko tree, you will not see it. You see, when you're smiling, I'm so happy for you. Eh? Thank I you. need to go and inform my fellow women. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to start making preparation. There is no preparation yet. Let me go and start making my preparation. Eh? Don't worry. Hey, hey, Chimo. No, I just don't feel good about this. I don't think I can do it. Hold on. Hmm? You can. Huh? And trust me, you're going to feel much more better. I don't think I can. Please. Are you sure about this? I'm very sure. Please.
Ein Lüfter. Geh dir mal. Weißt du? Annika, mach Fernsehen. I know I hurt you. I made horrible choices. I took a path of self destruction that hurt everybody, everything in my life. Especially you. It is not because I did not love you. I wanted to release all the hurt, bitterness, anger in me. I am so sorry that I heaped everything on you. Please, I want you to find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, please. But, mother, you can't just do whatever you want and Think you would go scot free. You made mistakes that affected me. That affected me mostly. And now you want everything to come back to normal. Like none of it ever happened. Simply because. You're here, sitting, saying sorry. You have every right to be angry with me. Yes. And I take full responsibility for all that happened. But please, my son, I want you to know that I have paid dearly for it. Um, it is me. But why? Why, mother? Why? Why did you consider how tender I was? Why did you consider how fragile and vulnerable I was at that time? At that tender age? Can we please forget about the why? Not because it's not important. But because sometimes whys are not necessary. I love you. I missed you. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, my son. Please. I am so sorry that I broke your heart and made you lose trust. My son. favorite sweets <laughs> for the past years looking at through the window <laughs> hoping <laughs> wishing <laughs> for me <laughs> to get a glimpse of you <laughs> so please <laughs> I love you, son. I love you so much. <laughs> 
I'm glad I listened to you. I'm happy we made this trip. You know, I feel so light like a feather. I'm glad we did too, honey. Uh, you know what I realized from this whole process? One strong thing. Well, it's that it's unhealthy to rob on someone else. You're hurt. You don't take it out on another person. The circle just keeps repeating itself endlessly. Yes. Which makes me wonder how do medical doctors manage to fix others when they themselves are broken? How do they on a daily give out something they don't even have? It's not it's not just about you, honey. A lot of health workers are going through some things. And they need to talk to someone or people. They need to vent. They need to heal. Doctors need doctors too. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. <sighs> thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> Taught me how to live, live my life Sometimes situations Can turn an angel into a demon And sometimes situations Can turn a beast into an angel it all depends, it all depends. So don't let your past determine your future. Yo, yo, yo. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. Yo, yo, yo. Don't let your past determine your future. Yo, yo, yo. Don't let your yesterday determine your tomorrow. Live your life the best way you can So freely as you can And leave the past behind Don't let anger